in this section we are going to understand how to modify the profile we created earlier so uh, before modifying the profile we will see how to modify the profile labels and modify the profile style so it is same as earlier we have to select the profile so we have to select the correct profile we have two profiles now eg profile and uh, FG profile or the proposed profile so make sure you have select the proposed profile then if you need to change the profile style right click once you select the profile right click go to profile properties and change various styles and see what suits you right various styles and see what is suits for you so i am going to use this design profile option yes and i click ok so now i am going to change the label style so i'll click here right click while selecting the profile go to edit labels so usually instead of edit ed editing each of the labels what we do is import a label set i click here so we can only set one label set here uh, that is come that is what comes with default so gd so i click ok so we don't have to change this thing so if you need you if you think you need to remove these all these labels you can right click and you can set this no label style click here and apply you will see no labels on the civil 3d profile so i am going to add that labels again click ok so that is how to change the profile style and profile label sets then we will see how to modify this profile we created so once you click this profile you will see several grips on this profile so the, from these grips you can modify the profile easily so if you want to retain this low opacities and modify this one you can use this option so this left side slope will be remained and right side slope will be changed so in the same way you can do the other way around as well so if you want to change this elevation of this pvi point higher or lower you can use this option right so every time you can use this option for the other curves as well so if you want to change the curve length of this one you can what you can do is right right click and go to edit profile geometry so i forgot to tell you earlier one if you are creating the profile also like in alignment if you accidentally close this toolbar you can get it back by right click and go to edit profile geometry or otherwise you can use this option as well geometry editor so i am going to modify this profile so like in earlier you have to select a location to edit so currently i don't see this is highlighted to to get anything uh, edit based data on all entities so i am going to this option select pvi option and i select this curve to edit so you can see it is 123.5 so if you like you can change it to 125 around that number and this elevation if you like you can change it to 29.2 around that number and curve length you can see now it is under the ground if you want you can take it up like i am putting here 100 meters so it will come up right so likewise you can edit and here also i can change this curve so that it follows the existing ground slope like here now this is at a higher elevation now what i will do is i click here and come to this pvi point because it is asking to select the pvi so i come to this pvi point now i change the curve length to a higher value so that my profile comes down and my chain edges pvi station i will go to a rounded station and make this also 31.45 around that 
number so like earlier you can go to here and change everything at once if you like so you have the curve lengths you can change the well. you can change these pvi locations you cannot change the start and end don't do that because start should be zero and should be mostly end of the alignment so you don't need to change that one apart from that you can change the other things i make it 510 this is 780 maybe this is 910 and this is 1150 so likewise you can change and also the 23.71 20.8 likewise you can change 13.83 and 15.26 so you will see so you have the gradients also here if you like to change the gradients you can do that as well so again you will get the k values so if you learn highway engineering geometric design you will know what are these so you can edit the profile based on these parameters once you learn those things as uh engineers or drafting person so now i am going to close this one so i will if you want to delete a curve if you want to delete a curve you have to use this option so once you delete use delete curve option you will delete that curve i will delete this curve here because this is almost straight section so i don't want this curve i will delete this curve and it will come to two tangent sections this is 0.6 gradient and this is 0.46 gradient so i will delete this pvi as well so that we get one straight section here so i will use this option to delete the pvi and i will click here it will delete the pvi now we have only one gradient here so if you think you need a curve here so you can add a new pvi from from here so somewhere here let us say we are going to add that pvi so now our new pvi is added you can then again add a curve to this location and I will make it the radius as curve length as 100. So you will get a curve here. So if this is too high, if this is too high, you can make it downwards using these grips. Right. So also you can make it downwards further from this grip. And you can increase the curve length here. So I will do that fast. Go here, I'll select this one instead of this. I will select 150 here. And I will go again from here. I will change this to 920 and 13.1 the elevation. And I'm moving to here because I did not round it this one. This is 1240. It's actually, it is rounded. And this is 17.76 we say like this so now we have rounded everything so that is how to modify the profile so as earlier you can use profile related redo undo options from here so I'll close this one and I will finish editing my profile using the profile modification options in the next section we will see how to edit the profile view band so that we are representing all these informations current correctly in these bands